Hey, it's the Ripcord. Um, some a couple of people were asking about how to use Ghost Script with uh, a graphics program in order to print halftones onto film. Um, so I thought I'd make a little movie about it. I just made this up with a uh, cute little ghost as just uh, some clip art, and then I gave this a a little bit of a glow just so we could have some different gray uh, scale images and um, now supposing I wanted to print this out um, as a halftone um, in order to screen print the image and what I'm going to do now is um, this is all vector artwork I'm going to convert it to a grayscale bitmap um, some people say that that's not necessary um, I don't know I've just found from my own experience when you have shades of gray in a design as vector artwork, it translates a lot better to other formats when you convert it to a bitmap, especially if you're sending this to somebody else who may be using different software than you. Um, I, I believe it's a good idea. So I'm going to ignore that black because that's really not part of the design. That just represents a black t-shirt that we might print on. I'll convert the image here to a grayscale bitmap. There we go. And then I, I get rid of my background. Now this is what we want our print to look like when we print it on the shirt, with of course on a black shirt. Um, so I'm going to invert it here. this is how we want our film to print. Imagine now everything black is going to print with white ink on the t-shirt. And uh, that's the design we want to print. It's much smaller as you can see. I'm just using an 8.5 by 11 but you would make it larger. And uh, now I can go up to file and uh, print. And from my printers I have the two printers that I have installed, plus uh, this third option here, device independent postscript file. That's hard to say. And uh, yeah, click that. Now, um, here's where we set all of our screen frequency and our screen angle, what kind of dots we want. And um, I'll start here under postscript. postscript. This is my print menu and I'll do a 45 LPI screen since we're doing it for a t-shirt and I will come over here to pre-press you might want to invert this depending on your printer sometimes a printer will default and reverse an image on film mine doesn't so I'm gonna leave it I'm sorry not invert mirror I'm gonna leave that alone now separations here you want to click print separations our only choice is black because that's what we use for our design. And this advanced tab will open that up. And here's where I want to change my um, frequency and my angle. The frequency, which is the LPI, that's already been changed on the other screen. My angle for screen printing, I want to use 22 and a half. And here's where you select your halftone type, the dot. And I like to use round dots for screen printing. But as you can see, there are a number of choices. Um, so now we got a black halftone, 45 LPI, 22 and a half degree angle. I'm going to click OK. Now here's where you want to come back to pre-press. And you'll see all these boxes automatically check themselves. And you want to get rid of all that stuff. This is all for offset printing, and it's just going to print out a bunch of extra film that you don't need. Okay, so now I click print, and it's going to want to know what I want to call the print, and uh, I will call it ghost, and it's going to save as a postscript file. It's hard to say.
Okay, so now I have my postscript postscript file saved, and I'm going to open up Ghost View. And in Ghost View, I can open the file. Open. And here's my ghost. And there he is. Now this file already has all the halftone information um, in it. You can't tell by looking at it on the monitor, but it's in there. So if I go to File, uh, Print, then I just select my printer, use the same settings I always do, and print out my film. And this should uh, result in a, a perfect uh, halftone film. Hope this helps you out, and I hope your next project goes well.